Folks, we're going to jump right into the meat and potatoes. It's Monday. We're getting back, clicking. We're getting back locked into the work. I thank y'all for clicking on. Clicking on and staying on. When you see me, you click on all the way to the end. It may be some people in the comments. You might see them. They got a star beside their name. They got a heart beside their name. Some of those stars and hearts is turning colors. Them teals been with us for a long time. The blues is kind of new with us. Those are our members. Those put their faith with our faith. They click on. They stay on. They support. They comment. They like. They share. They subscribe. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. This is a place for the victorious. This is a place for the victorious. So if you feel like crying and curling up in a ball and not having the victory on today, this might not be the place. You might want to just go ahead and click off of me because I'm going to get on your nerves this season. Let me jump right into the meat and potatoes this morning. Um, We're going to move off. I'm telling you guys, I promise you, but I, I can only do what I feel like I'm spiritually directed to do and make the, the best guess in spirit of where we're leading. But we getting off of these people, man. I really do feel like the content up until this point has been drawing you guys to me. Also, the content that I've been producing up until this point has been helping to heal myself. But as I always say, I only know this place to be a rehabilitation facility for us all. We should graduate. We should get to a point where certain things we just don't want to hear anymore. We should get to a point that when you clicking on, you clicking on, not so that you can get pumped up, but you clicking on so you can get pumped up and get direction and directive on what you should be doing in this season. This ain't no gossip page. This ain't no gossip channel. This ain't gossip, girls. So if you want to hear some gossip about your enemies, this ain't the place. We're just illuminating. We're just illuminating to elevate. So you got to shine light on these things so that you can elevate and turn your back on them. I mean, I'm giving a crazy long intro, but this is Monday. Hopefully you will click on me and you'll put me in your earbuds or you'll put me in your speaker phone as you're doing your task because this is important. Today, this is very, very important. This is very important today. This is very important that we get this today. This is about anointing. People, and you may have been facing this all your life or all your adult life. They can't understand how you do the things that you do and what you're actually capable of. They can't understand the works of your hand or your actual like harvest. Or I'm hearing proceeds. They can't understand how you proceed or, or receive proceeds. They can't understand the work of your hands how you're able to manifest things and put things out into the world sometimes with little to no understanding or little to no education or little to no family coming from those things it confine it, it confuses the wicked you're so just your survival Just your survival. My mind always goes back to my alone show that's about survival. It's 
And sometimes they go and check on these people that's been out in the wilderness 30, 40, 50, 60 days sometimes. And the cast and crew are amazed when they see these people live in habitats that they've created. They see these people weight loss that they've lost by by being by being starved almost when they see what these people put themselves through and ate and the crew that comes and gets them is and the medical crew is often su su super surprised and they don't know how did you survive in that How did you survive? How did you, in some cases, thrive in that? And that's how people are looking at you. Family, friends, strangers, haters, co competitors, uh, co-workers. And it's... Isn't it simple? I was anointed to do this. You put in your this wherever that line is. I'm anointed for that. So when you feel like it's cold, it don't feel that cold to me because I'm anointed for that. When you feel like you starving, I don't feel that starved because I'm anointed for that. When 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 you would have probably um, tried to injure or harm yourself, I'm being as vague as I can there. I didn't feel that way because I'm anointed for certain things, and that anointing gives grace, and anointing destroys every yoke, and that anointing provides protection. So when you get into a mode where you want to be comparative or competitive, it's going to leave you confused. There is a way. Thank you for this, God. There is a way on. I saw just in passing, there is a way on Google on Google Maps where you can blurry your house. I just saw this just randomly popped up on Facebook as like an article where if you looking up somebody's house or somebody's particular residence, I didn't look at the steps. I just literally read the caption. You can make your house blurry. And that's what the anointing does to where when when people try to dig up and go through your past and look at your stuff and it'll make certain things very very clear and it'll make other things blurry where I can't quite even see what What's going on? And that's the anointing. And that word um, in the Greek, I believe it means to smear or to cover. But what I what I loved about it so much is that at a time, there was a time where shepherd had sheep. And what they would do in certain seasons is they would rub oil all over the sheep. That was, that's one of the terms of anointing. It would smear oil all over the sheep. Because a lot of time the sheep would get lice and insects and Things would nip on their ears, and the sh the shepherd would say, "I'm gonna oil you up. I'm smearing you 
all over your ears, all over your body, because you are my sheep. Chosen person. I'm going to smear you all the way up with oil so that when those insects come and those skin irritations try to come and the lice try to set in and sink their teeth in, they'll slip right off. And that's confusing to the enemy. That's confusing to the lice. Imagine an insect that preys on sheep. And they come, I'm going a, I'm to a prey on this sheep. I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a suck them dry. I'm going to do what I do to every sheep that I see. And imagine they come and they approach you. As a sheep, and as they come, and they kind of sink their teeth in, and it, it slip out. They can't grab a hole like they should, like they've done a million times. And so they say, "Well, oh, I can't." And the and the big OG insects say. They anointed, man. The sheep anointed them. They've been set apart. You ain't going to be able to sink your teeth in right there because they've been covered in that oil. Mm -mm -mm. You was covered in that oil. And even if you felt a sting or irritation, that was nothing compared to the intention of what the insects wanted to do. So today we thank God for his anointing power that it acts as a the shield of protection, a hedge, a fence. It distorts the vision of the adversary. Peace.